Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm D, and you're watching episode seven of my Hummer Chronicles. In this episode, I'm gonna get into something that's been a big issue for a lot of H2 Hummer owners, water leaks. If you're experiencing that, and you want to learn how to fix that, or either upgrade it, stay tuned. All right, welcome back. Now, how many of y'all out there experiencing this issue right here? If you're experiencing that, I got the simple fix for you. You can either upgrade it, or you can simply just fix what you got. We're gonna go through all those options, but for my option, I chose to upgrade, cause that's what I do. I upgrade, I gotta do it. Some parts they just stock and I just want that new look. Now what I purchased are some lighting accessories that for the crew cab. I got this from Amazon, but I'll leave the link below and you can also upgrade your vehicle. But now, it's my turn. We're gonna get into mine and we're gonna show you exactly what to do and how to install these lights. Here are the replacements that come with the purchase. I have a total of 10 replacements. I split them up in two because you have five up front and you have five on the rear. For the front side, you will use the yellow bulbs. They come with an extra five bulb kit. On the right side, they come with the red bulbs. They also have five extra bulbs as well. Yellow for the front, red for the rear, and you have a complete set ready for your install. So now we're in the front of the vehicle. This is the top side, which has the yellow cab lights and all five will be being replaced. Now I have leaks coming from each of those. So this is a good time to go ahead and get rid of them. The tools that I'll be using, I'll display it across the screen. Let's go to the rear. For the rear, you also have five that are gonna replace also. I'm not sure if I got a leak on the far left or the far right one, but after this install, there will be no more leaks. And when you're removing this light, you want to take it here and you want to twist and pull. Look at that. That's a lot of dirt and grime inside there. Before I even install it, I'm gonna clean around that area. You don't wanna just install over that. Go ahead and clean it out. This is the type of stuff that you get. Don't lose these parts. Anything that's attached, keep an eye out for it. When that water seeps through, it's taking all the dirt, as you see leaves and anything you can take with it, and it's getting trapped inside your vehicle. For these lights here, they're pretty simple. You go to this side here, there's a clip. You're gonna remove that clip and you're gonna just slide it up. You'll see your connections here. You will lift this tab, then you will pull and it disconnects. This one, you would do different. You will pull this one from your left end. Left side first and just pull it out. The far right, you would do that one from that end and pull out. Now let's get into the reason why I'm experiencing the water leaks. Now here, you see that weather seal? This weather seal is what's supposed to keep the rain, the water, and everything out. Now that weather seal has pretty much deteriorated and it's no longer working. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that weather seal and also replace this housing. Now you do have the option to replace the weather seal and keep your original factory look. You'll come out cheaper that way. But in this case, I'm pretty much installing a new upgrade. So therefore I got the entire kit. For this, you see that? It's all the way around, but it's pretty much damaged. That weather seal is damaged all the way around. And these are even worse. 
there is no weather seal here. So therefore, that's where my leaks are finding this hole. It's finding this hole and it's getting down in there and it's coming straight down from my roof area. This one has the same issue. It's pretty much rotted out. Now before we make our swap, we'll have to remove our connections that we'll need. So in order to remove this, you will twist it and then you would pretty much wiggle it out. You gotta understand that these are old parts that's been on this vehicle since it was made. So once you remove it, you have your bulb. We take this, remove your bulb. Once I remove my bulb, I will take the new bulb and I will insert it into the hole. Then I will take my new here. I will align the slots, put it in, twist, and now you have your new. Now these steps exist for the same lights that go in the front. We reached the end of the video so therefore there's nothing that's left for me to show you by now 
You should have gained enough knowledge to complete this install at a successful finish on your own. My lights now have a way more custom look than that factory look I had before. Out with the old, in with the new. If I'm gonna continue to upgrade this truck, I gotta make it look better than it did before. Now, episode seven is a wrap. We moving on to episode eight, so you gotta stay tuned and be on the lookout. More installs to come. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. If you have, thank you for the support and I appreciate you all for watching this video. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy these lights. See y'all later.